I like big booms. So this is a, uh, yeah, an incredibly powerful bug that I won't want to miss. Description. Which I know it exists. It's the concoction. It's absolutely nuts, this, this update. So slow spoon speed. All we got is a mold mauler and concoction. So you're really saying those two channels can beat 98s. So I don't know if it's like a, what do you call it? RNG, but I'm just going to leave on it first. Just so that I can pop the BFP earlier and see what happens. Keep the concoction strong for the ZMGs. So still waiting for it to pop. Still waiting. There we go. Uh, we didn't get it on the mops though. Nah, we didn't get the big boom. Maybe it's gotta be on strong, but the thing is the Mauler doesn't have enough damage to break a ZMG. I think it's not RNG. Um, I've heard this is how you can create the, the bug. I believe it works similar to the Prince of Darkness. I read it somewhere, but I'm not 100%. So let me go sandbox. So similar to Prince of Darkness, you gotta super buff the concoction. So we're talking... Well, first off, we need the, the, the temple. That's like obvious, number one. Super mines. Max supports. Bam, bam. I don't know if Overclock and Village also buffs it. But sure, we'll just do that as well. Just for good measures. I guess I'm supposed to send rounds out. Like, maybe a bad, that's it. Do that, do that, do that. Homelands. I don't know if this is it. But I'm going home now. We've supercharged the concoction. Back to the game. So Mauler in first. And concoction again. Do we get the big boom? We like big booms after all. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There we go. That, 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 that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Just as I expected. Or I thought so. So I would not have gotten this. Like, I would probably be stuck on this challenge for hours. If I was, like, alone in a dark room. Nobody helped me. No resources to look for. Like, on the internet. So luckily I knew this before starting the challenge. Like, you had to go sandbox. And then you... Create a giant explosion, chain reaction, in fact. Although, um, I actually may not have won because I actually have to get the BPs and Zoom Gs in one shot. When, when exploded, I think the Zoom Gs were a little bit apart. Do I have to recharge again? Well, I'm, I'm just gonna do that. Go back home. Just in case I used up my charge, if that's how it works. So, before I, uh, win the challenge, does anybody know more about the glitch? Like, is it buffed by attack speed, pierce, or all of the above? Just damage? Okay, so temple buffs. OP then. So I'm gonna put the Mauler on this side now. One, two, three. The concoction damage can stack infinitely, and it's only damage that buffs it. Okay. So if that's how it works, that's that's absolutely a game-breaking bug. So are you stuck on chips mode on round 98? Don't worry. Just go to sandbox, charge up your concoction, and then beat it first try. So in this spot, uh, I don't know. That's gonna separate. Mm, come on, nope. Nope, we didn't get it. Well, I gotta do some micro, that is. Micro, micro. Restart. So, I think I'm gonna put it here, but I gotta target such that I don't pop the BP too early. So, let's do last. Don't do damage here. We're gonna stall it out. So, can these ZMGs please fail the social distancing challenge? That would be appreciated. We'll leave the Mauler first now, so please explode. Ah, no, we, we can't get it to pop. Whatever. We'll just see if they're slow enough, so that it'll work. That said, can this Mauler beat the Rams? If not, we got a problem. Ah, I got a problem. Can the spikes clean up? Nope. Can only leak that one Ram. We're so close to getting that to work. I think I'll leave both towers at first. Before, it was, um, it was Concoction on, on Strong. But the thing is, it's not even hitting the ZMGs until, like, the last minute. Because it's gonna throw it on the BFPs first. So what if we get more damage at the front? Like this this side. And then now we'll put it on strong. Oh, there we go. No, we can't explode it. God damn it. Actually, I, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell there. The zoom G's got damaged, right? So maybe I do have to glitch the concoction more. It's not doing enough. It's not strong enough yet. We gotta keep on sandboxing and buffing it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, they were 1 HP. That a boy. So I'm told this buff on the concoction lasts until you close the game. So AK again, same as the uh, 
um, Prince of Darkness. So GG, thanks for the showcase. So primary only another brick. Is this in Papa mode? No, it's hard mode. Only up to round 40, so it doesn't seem too bad, except we only got one of each. Now I would start with an attack shooter, but we only have one life. I mean, we can still we can still try. Here, here, and let's begin. Okay. Uh, I forgot round 4 was an issue. Uh, how's a boomerang? It's right-handed, so you know what that means? We got a nice curve when it's chasing boons to the exits. So, uh, keeping it on first. Alright. Told you the boomerang curve is, was a beauty. Left-handed boomerang when? I don't know. Maybe in BTD7. You know, that would be a good uh, monkey knowledge option. Like, allow your boomerangs to uh, toggle. Either shoot left-handed or right-handed. Yeah, it's a shame that they're biased towards uh, right-handed people. Left-handers rise up. In case you don't know, I'm actually left-handed. To any left left-handed people out there, doesn't it get annoying whenever like you maybe don't know someone very well, and then you're writing with your left hand, and then they always point out, "Oh, I didn't know you were left-handed." Like, I've probably heard that a billion times over my lifetime, and it always gets old. Like, yes, I know I'm in the minority. So what? Surprisingly, this can hold off to around 14. But what am I gonna do with this uh, two thousand dollars? Yeah, so Overdrive would be best in this challenge. For sure, for sure. We just gotta find a way to get leads. Maybe a 2 one glue at the front would be nice. And because there's, like, you know, only up to round 40, we literally could just beat the cameras with a uh, crossbow darts. Although on this map, maybe we need more. Can we do a game of call, please? Uh, how about a no? There was hype when it came out. Actually, it was didn't it come out, like, kind of, uh, unannounced. When I say unannounced, I mean there was no hype around it. Except for maybe like the two days before it came out. Like it wasn't something I specifically wanted. Obviously, when challenges came out, I was like, oh yeah. Rating rating system. Seeing what's the most popular challenges played amongst the entire community. Choose between that. That would be dope. Now of course co-op was fun when it came out, but you know, it doesn't last long. Yeah, cross was kinda iffy. But we're actually almost to overdrive, so Let's get that, after the leads. So literally with the overdrive, our only issue is uh, either too many leads, like maybe we'll get cock blocked. But I can get like a, a metal freeze if the glue is getting overwhelmed. Or splatter. Just 33 though. Do I need sharpshooter? If so, I can just sell the... Oh, I can't sell. How did I go this far into the challenge without knowing I could sell? In that case, uh, if I can't beat this round, then I'm I might be dead. Uh oh, nope. Let's try putting on strong. Okay, if I knew uh we couldn't sell, I probably would have saved the money. Oh, well, I can give range. Wait, can no, I can't even place the village in range. Jeez. Maybe? Nope, can't afford it. 430. Yeah, we're literally two dollars off. Okay, this is as close as I could fit the village to being in range of the darts. Again, I need I need the 430. I'm only two dollars off before dying, so let me see what I can change. It's gotta be strong. No, no, no. There's no no way we can win. All right, I'm just gonna restart. That's gonna save time. Not gonna continue. You know, now that we can't sell, we might as well just put the dart in a goat spot, like here. I put it down here because I was thinking I would sell the tank and then put it down here at one point. But now that I see that, no. So before I go for glue the top. Um, do I actually want to do that? Because the thing is, I might actually want uh, the glue down here for the Moab. Or I could get an Assassin. I don't know if the money's there. But that would be a good way to one-shot the Moab so that the Overdrive does something. Just the food for thought. Alright, here's the plan. We're gonna get a Sharpshooter, and then Overdrive. That's probably the safe choice. Now, Sharpshooter gets the plus two, plus two layers. One-shots the pinks. Very nice. So now our camo issue is solved. We don't have to worry about getting a village. Now, do I actually want overdrive? I think so, I think so. If the money's there, I want to get an overdrive and uh, an assassin. Because I think that would work. One shot the mob again. Uh, glue the ceramics, overdrive the rest, and then... This guy at the back for cleanup. 
Uh, let's... This is what I'm worried about. So let's cock blocking my overdrive. Well, that's okay. We got it. And this guy can clean up again. So I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So let's just put the bomb in range of the track. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll get it soon. And that I think should be GG. We even got an ice tower as a bonus. Here we go. Last round. Instant one shots. A lot of random crap. We'll get this guy just for insurance. Which we don't need. Or maybe we need it. I was actually kind of close. But there we go. Nice and simple challenge. Not bad at all. Not bad at all.